Welcome to the Top Mormon Theologians and Their Essential Books video. Okay, the first theologian is Parley P. Pratt. His influential books were A Voice of Warning and Instruction to All People, containing a declaration of the faith and doctrine of the Church of the Latter-day Saints, commonly called the Mormons, which came out in 1837. And his other book was called Key to the Science of Theology, which came out in 1855. He was an apostle in the church for over 22 years, and he practiced plural marriage and was murdered in 1857 by the estranged husband of his 12th wife. Orson Spencer. His major work was Letters Exhibiting the Most Prominent Doctrines of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which came out in 1848. Spencer graduated with honors from Union College in New York. Spencer was a school teacher in Washington, Georgia, where he also studied law. In 1827, Spencer joined the Baptist Church and decided to become a pastor. He attended the Theological College at Hamilton, New York, now known as Colgate University, and graduated as class valedictorian in 1829. Spencer served as pastor at three congregations throughout New England. He joined the Mormon Church in 1841. He also served as the head of the University of Nauvoo in Illinois. He also served as editor and publisher of the Millennial Star newspaper. In 1850, when the Deseret News began publication in Salt Lake City, Spencer served as assistant editor. Okay, Orson Pratt. He had a series of pamphlets in 1851 that were very influential on uh, theology, and the book, The Seer, 1854. He was an apostle of the church for 38 years. He served as editor of the Millennial Star for three years. He assisted in the design and invention of a version of the modern odometer. He also had a strong interest in astronomy. He was an instructor at the University of Nauvoo in Illinois. He was church historian and recorder for seven years. And he also helped to divide the Book of Mormon and Doctrine and Covenants into verses and provided footnoted cross-references. Another essential source for theology in the early days of the church was the Journal of Discourses, which came out in 26 volumes. It's a collection of public sermons by Brigham Young and other early leaders of the church. It went from 1851 to 1877. Okay, John Jacquez. He wrote the Catechism for Children, exhibiting the prominent doctrines of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which came out in 1854. He was a hymn writer and assistant church historian. He was the editor of the Millennial Star for several years. In 1874, he became the principal editorial writer for the Desert News. Okay, Franklin D. Richards. He wrote a compendium of the faith and doctrines of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which came out in 1857. He was an apostle for the church for 50 years. He served as an editor of the Millennial Star, and he was also a church historian for 10 years. Okay, B. H. Roberts. His books were The Gospel, an Exposition of Its First Principles, which came out in 1888, and The 70s Course in Theology, which was five volumes from 1907 to 1912, and also The Truth, the Way, the Life, an elementary treatise on theology, which uh, eventually came out in 1994. He was in the Quorum of the 70 for 45 years. He was a voracious reader devouring books in history, science, and philosophy. Roberts graduated first in his class from the University of Deseret. He was associate editor of the Salt Lake Herald and assistant editor of the Millennial Star. He was also the full-time editor of The Contributor. Roberts wrote a dozen books on Mormon theology. He served as assistant church historian for 31 years. Leonard Arrington, the prominent historian, said, Roberts was the intellectual leader of the Mormon people in the era of Mormonism's finest intellectual attainment. James E. Talmadge. His popular books are The Articles of Faith in 1899, The Great Apostasy in 1909, and Jesus the Christ in 1915. He was an apostle for the church for over 21 years, he graduated with a science degree from Brigham Young Academy. He also took selected courses in chemistry and geology at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania and John Hopkins University in Maryland. 
He received a Bachelor's of Science degree from Lehigh University. He also received a PhD from Illinois Wesleyan University. He was a fellow of many learned societies. Talmadge taught science at Brigham Young Academy and was the president of Latter-day Saints University and the University of Deseret. Talmadge was a professor of geology at the University of Utah for 10 years. Joseph F. Smith. His book was Gospel Doctrine, Selections from the Sermons and Writings of Joseph F. Smith, which came out in 1919, shortly after his death. Joseph F. Smith was the sixth prophet and president of the church for 17 years. Before that, he was an apostle for about three years. He was employed in the church historian's office for a number of years. He also served seven terms in the Utah Territorial House of Representatives. He also served as editor of the Improvement Era and juvenile instructor. Okay, John A. Widstow. He's got more books on this list than anybody. So he was quite the theologian. He had Joseph Smith as scientist, a contribution to Mormon philosophy in 1908, rational theology as taught by the Church of Jesus Christ in 1915, Discourses of Brigham Young, second president of the Church of Jesus Christ in 1925. He was the editor of that. Priesthood and Church Government in 1936. Evidences and Reconciliations, three volumes in 43, 47, and 1951. He was an apostle for about 30 years. He graduated from Brigham Young College in Logan, Utah. He obtained a chemistry degree at Harvard University, graduating with honors. He then entered the University of Gottingen, Germany and graduated with a Ph.D. in biochemistry. He became the director of the Agricultural Experiment Station at Utah State Agricultural College and was the president of this university for about nine years. Woodstow was also a professor of agriculture at BYU and is arguably the founding father of BYU's College of Biology and Agriculture. He also served as the president of the University of Utah for about five years. Woodstow was the commissioner of church education for many years. During his time as an apostle, he taught a religion class at USC. He also supervised the reorganization of the Federal Bureau of Reclamation and was the associate editor of the Improvement Era for about 17 years. Quite the accomplishments. Okay, Joseph Smith, Jr. We're not going to go over the standard works of the church or, or what they call the uh, Mormon scriptures. But Joseph Smith Jr. was quite the theologian. Uh, besides the scriptures, he did uh, lectures on faith in 1835 and the teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith, which was compiled by Joseph Fielding Smith in 1938. Legrand Richards, his popular book was A Marvelous Work and a Wonder, which came out in 1950. He was an apostle for over 30 years. A Marvelous Work and a Wonder book contains a comprehensive teaching outline designed to assist missionaries in their study and presentation of Mormonism. Okay, Joseph Fielding Smith. First book on here is Man, His Origin and Destiny, which came out in 1954. This was a book against evolution. Then we have Doctrines of Salvation in three volumes, 1954 to 1956, that was edited by Bruce R. McConkie. And then Answer to Gospel Questions, which was five volumes from 1957 to 1966. Smith was the 10th prophet and president of the church for only about two and a half years, but he was an apostle for over 62 years before that. He was the church historian and recorder for about 50 years. That's five O years. As a teenager, Smith completed two years of study at the Latter-day Saint College, an institution equivalent to the modern U.S. high school. After leaving college, Smith began working as a stock clerk, doing manual labor at ZCMI to supplement the family's income. Smith eventually published over 25 books. Okay, Bruce R. McConkie. First book on here is Mormon Doctrine, a Compendium of the Gospel, first released in 1958. The second edition of Mormon Doctrine had many changes. He also did the Messiah series, which was six volumes from 1979 to 1982. Bruce R. McConkie was an apostle for over 12 years. He received a Bachelor of Arts and a Juris Doctor degree from the University of Utah. He was third out of 75 on the Utah bar exam. McConkie worked as an assistant city attorney in Salt Lake City. He also wrote numerous articles for the Church News 
and church magazines, handbooks, pamphlets, and manuals. He wrote the chapter headings of the LDS Church's 1979 to 1981 editions of the Standard Works of the Church, which are the Mormon Scriptures. He also contributed to the Bible Dictionary in the Standard Works. Spencer W. Kimball. The first book on here is The Miracle of Forgiveness in 1969, and then Faith Precedes the Miracle in 1972. He was the 12th prophet and president of the church for 12 years. He was an apostle for 30 years before becoming president. Kimball graduated from high school, spent one semester at the University of Arizona, and one month at BYU. Kimball began work at the Arizona Trust and Savings Bank, where he was eventually promoted to assistant cashier. He also began running his own business in Safford, Arizona, called the Kimball Green Hall Agency, dealing in local insurance, real estate, debt collection, and bonds. Hugh Nibley. His book on here is Approaching Zion, which came out in 1989. He attended UCLA, where he graduated with a degree in history. He received a PhD in classics from UC Berkeley. He taught various subjects at Claremont Colleges. Nibley was a professor at BYU for nearly 50 years. He taught foreign languages and Christian church history. He was the director of the Institute for Ancient Studies at BYU, and he is the author of over 20 books. Okay, Sterling M. McMurrin. He wrote the book, The Philosophical Foundations of Mormon Theology in 1965. He received an A.B. in history and a Master of Arts degree in philosophy from the University of Utah. He also received a Ph.D. in philosophy from USC in California. He served as United States Commissioner of Education in the administration of President John F. Kennedy. Thank you for watching the Top Mormon Theologians and Their Essential Books video.